hailing from Giddings, Texas, is one of the greatest pitchers you likely never heard of, Hilton Lee Smith. Hilton Smith was a great pitcher, primarily for the Kansas City Monarchs. And Hilton Smith pitched alongside the legendary Satchel Paige, and they were polar opposites. When Satchel walked in the room, oh, the room lit up. Oh, you knew he was in the room. And if you didn't know, he was going to let you know that he was in the room. Hilton Smith was the exact opposite. Very quiet, very workmanlike, unassuming, but just as lethal. Possessing what many believe to be the greatest curveball this sport has ever seen. Hilton Smith was indeed the truth. Buck O'Neill believed that Hilton Smith had the greatest curveball this sport has ever seen. The legendary Monty Irvin would go on to say that it was the greatest curveball that he had the displeasure of ever trying to hit. He threw the big 12 to 6 breaker and he threw what he called a tight curveball where he would drop down three quarters and he threw it all with pinpoint control. As a matter of fact, Monty Irvin would go on to say that you could know where his curveball was coming from and the break and bite on it was so sharp you still couldn't hit it. Hilton Smith was one of many great two-way stars in the Negro Leagues. And over recent times, we've become enamored by the nature of two-way stars, primarily because of the great success of Shohei Otani. Well, the Negro Leagues were filled with great two-way stars, and Hilton Smith was just one of many. And what made Hilton so special was when he wasn't pitching, he played the outfield and had a lifetime batting average over 300. His first game in Kansas City, his first full season with the Monarchs in 1937, what did Hilton Smith do? He only threw a perfect game. Yeah, he blanked the Chicago American Giants 4 to nothing. Hilton Smith had that great breaking ball and then a dominating fastball to go on top of it. You got to sit on his fastball, and then you had virtually no chance of hitting his curveball. That went along with a repertoire of other great pitches, but the curveball was the pitch that really made Hilton Smith unhittable. Hilton Smith did something that I don't think we will ever see done in the game of baseball again. Hilton Smith won 20 games or more, 12 consecutive years. He goes six and one in exhibition games against Major League All-Stars. He was likely the best pitcher in all of baseball at that time, who by the time that Jackie Robinson breaks Major League Baseball's color barrier, he realized that he was too old. The majors came calling, but he knew by that time he was too old to cross over that threshold and go into Major League Baseball. Hilton Smith earned a reputation as being Satchel's shadow, the legendary Satchel Page. He would oftentimes come in and relieve Satchel. Well, Satchel was the draw. So Satchel's going to pitch two or three innings, and who came in and pitched the last six or seven? Hilton Smith. And all the old-timers in the Negro League say, if you're going to get anything, you better get it off of Satchel because you weren't going to touch Hilton Smith. It is Hilton Smith who is credited with having introduced or recommended Jackie Roosevelt Robinson to Kansas City Monarchs owner James Leslie Wilkinson. Hilton had seen Jackie playing against a white military baseball team that had major league players on it in 1942. He quickly recommended Jackie to Monarch's owner, James Leslie Wilkinson. When Jackie gets discharged from the military in 1944, he writes to Monarch's owner, J.O. Wilkinson, and Wilkie gives him a tryout. He makes the team and he joins the Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. Many credit Hilton Smith for introducing us to the man that would break Major League Baseball's six-decade-long self-imposed color barrier.